Did you know slipper snails, Crepidula fornicata, live in fascinating layered stacks and follow a unique life cycle that involves changing sexes? All slipper snails begin life as males. This is called pertandrous hermaphroditism. Young snails wander across hard surfaces like rocks, shells, docks until they settle and join a stack of other slipper snails. Snails pile up one on top of another, sometimes forming stacks of a dozen or more. Over time, their shells may grow fused together, making movement nearly impossible. They become sessile or fixed in place. As a male snail grows, eventually it may change to female. But this change isn't arbitrary. It depends on size, social context, and whether there are already females present. If there are no females around, some males will become female at smaller sizes than usual. Physical contact with neighboring snails seems to trigger cues for when to change sex. Once a snail becomes female, she gains two big advantages. One, she can store sperm, even from when she was male, and fertilize her own eggs. Two, she broods her eggs internally in pouches, protecting them until they develop into free-swimming larvae. In some slipper snail species, embryos in the same brood can resort to cannibalism, but often they favor eating half-siblings over full siblings. In certain species, a genetic switch lets some embryos remain as nutritive ones, essentially serving as food, so others can survive.